welcome on Bonjour Baby's channel. I'm Leslie Ram, I am the founder of the pre and postnatal Bonjour Baby programs. All right, so today I'm going to drive you through 10 exercises to help you if you're suffering from lower back pain or if you are just looking to be preventive and avoid any discomfort in that area. All right, let's not waste any more time and let's go. All right, so for this very first exercise, pretty simple. We are going to work on cat and cow just to make sure that we are working on the mobility of your upper back, uh, upper spine. So here you want to start in a quadruped position. And the common mistake that we see is that women just keep their hands just below their shoulders. But in fact, you want to slide them forward to make sure that you're really working on the mobility of this uh, upper spine, not increasing the mobility in the lower spine that is already too hypermobile. And that's why you have this kind of pain. So you slide your hands forward. Here we go. Just here, your knees are hip width apart here. And so from there, vertebra per vertebra, you're pushing all the way up. Here we go, push, 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 push. And then drop everything down. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. And here we go. That feels pretty good. All right, let's keep going. Pushing all the way up. Really focusing on not rushing in that exercise. Doing it vertebra per vertebra. And refocusing on finding that nice mobility here. And again, all the way up to the sky. Push, 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 push. And drop everything down. And here you want to be mindful about what's going on in your pelvic floor too. You don't want to push against it too much. You, you want to be mindful about, yes, working on your mobility, but not pushing like crazy against your pelvic floor. Here we go. Let's do one more here and all the way up. And all the way down. Drop it. All right. Feels good, right? All right, so for the second exercise, we are going to be in a quadruped position again. We are still working on that uh, upper spine, mid-back mobility. So here, this time your hands are just below your shoulders. Here, hip width apart, comfortable position, really bringing the tailbone back, the chin is down, my back is neutral. And I'm bringing my left hand on the back of my neck. And so from there, I will be driving the movement with my left elbow. And so my left elbow is going all the way up to the ceiling and then going all the way down to my right wrist. And I keep going here and then over there. And especially if you're postpartum, you might have a lot of tensions in your mid back resulting in lower back pain. So this exercise is really meant to work on that, releasing the tension and working on the mobility in your mid-back. And let's do one more here. And let's switch sides. So your left hand is directly below your left shoulder, right hand on your neck, elbow to the sky, elbow to your left wrist. Ooh, that feels good. Good. So you don't want to rush in that exercise. Anyway, you never want to rush when you're working out. <laughs> Good, perfect. And let's do one more here. And back to the starting position. All right, so for that third exercise, we are working on child's pose, a very good stretch when one is feeling her lower back. So here, you want to bring your your knees to the edge of your mat. So your feet, your knees, sorry, are really wide here. And then you're going to walk your way here down to the mat. And when you reach a point where you think you can't go any further, keep going. <laughs> and really try to stretch your fingers and arms as much as you can. Bring your forehead to the mat. Here, you can use a block if you need some support here just here 
And so here with your fingers, you want to reach forward. Imagine you have clouds here and you're really bringing the clouds into the mat. And you stay there and you breathe. The tailbone is really reaching back. Your chin is down. Your back is long and neutral. And you're really trying to find as much stretch as you can here. If it's not comfortable on the back of your knees, you can always roll a towel and put it on the back of your knees. And you can rock side to side if you need. It's a pretty intense stretch. You can relax your elbows here too. Remember when you breathe out, you never push against the pelvic floor, you lift it if you need. Stay there until you feel your back is completely relaxed. We'll do one more together here. And then gently you're going to come up, so draw your elbows back. Lift your forehead, here we go, and gently walk yourself up, keep your back neutral, here we go. That was a nice stretch. <laughs> All right, so this exercise is really good to do if you feel any kind of um, sciatica kind of pain, sensation, feeling in your lower back going down in your glute and uh, running through the back of your leg. This exercise is really a good one to do. So you start on a quadruped position here. And so from there, you are going to bring one knee to the midline. So let's say I'm bringing my right knee into the midline and I'm drawing it up. You see what I'm doing? So from there, I'm going in the midline here and then bringing it up. Then I will bring my left leg here and cross there, okay? So my knee is not on my leg here. It's really on the mat, but the um, forward part of my thigh is contacting the back part of the other one. And then from there, I keep a nice space. I bring my feet to the both sides of the mat and I'm pushing myself back onto the mat and sitting on my butt. So for some, this stretch is extremely intense. So what I will recommend you to do, you can grab a block, here it is, here, put it here, you can use a pillow as well. So you'll do exactly the same here. So I'm bringing my right knee forward, left here, to the edge of the mat and so from there here I'm planning here we go to just sit on them on the on the block sorry here okay and it's already a nice stretch if you feel you're fine you don't need the block there we go you just sit here okay and it's pretty intense I really feel the stretch on my right side here I can always adjust my foot if I need I can bring it forward a tiny bit so it's not as intense here and so here you really want you can place your hands on the side and you really want to seek length in your back okay you really don't want to end up here because here nothing is working all right here i don't feel anything happening around my sacral iliac here down to my glutes and my thigh here i feel it and if i, I need i can always adjust my foot just to make sure i have the correct kind of action going on and so here i'm really rolling on my hip bone forward here bringing my ribs down keeping my chin down my shoulders are relaxed and down i'm not here all contracted and here you just breathe all right so we do two uh breathe in and breathe out here together and then we'll switch side you can close your eyes if you want to just feel more relaxed and when you breathe out you can always add the pelvic floor lift
engaging the decor muscles. Again, breathe in. Breathe out, pedal floor up. Decor engage, your ribs are coming closer to each other. And try to uh, lift yourself up a tiny bit more each time. And you will feel even more action going on in your glutes. All right, once you feel it's getting any better, as I said, if you want more action going on, sink lens. You can always adjust your, your feet um, position onto the mat too. All right, so let's put ourselves forward here. We roll forward, hands to the mat, and then bringing my right foot closer to the midline, lifting my left knee here, and bringing my right knee back to its starting position here. And let's do the same on the other side. So this time my left knee is coming to the midline and up here, bring my foot to the side a bit. My right knee here is coming to contact the back of my left thigh. Here, my feet are to the, on the edge of the mat, sorry. And I'm pushing myself back on the mat. I can always add a block if I need, okay? Here I feel pretty good over there. And I want to make sure that I, I don't end up only on one cheek of my butt, that both of my glutes here are on the mat. All right. And here, and for this one, I need a bit more intensity. So instead of having my hands to the side, I'm just going to put them on my knee here. Let's do the same. We breathe in and out three times. Keeping the ribs down, the chin is down, tailbone contacting the mat and cheek butt on the mat. I'm not pushing against my pelvic floor while I'm breathing out, I'm lifting it. Last one here. And sometimes you might feel that you need to stay a bit longer here, that you know you kind of beginning to feel the action of that stretch uh, later on the movement. That's exactly what I'm feeling right now. So you know I'm just like hanging there a little more with you, and you can always pause that video and stay there a bit longer if you need. All right, so let's roll forward, hands on the mat here. Here we go. Perfect. Nice. Up. and here we go all right good job all right so for this exercise i recommend that you use a, a big ball like that a swiss ball an exercise ball it's really a nice stretch so what you do you begin with your ball here in your back okay so you are sitting here with your feet flat on the floor and the, the ball is on your back, okay? So you're contacting your back with the ball here. And so from there, you want to be mindful with the alignment. So always the chin is down here and you're going to push yourself up. So my uh, butt is up, it's not on the floor anymore here. And so from there, I can leave my hands to the floor here or to my side, it's as you like. Most important here is to bring your head on the ball here, but you keep the chin down. Your chin is not up, okay? So keep the chin down so you have a nice neutral alignment. And here I'm just pushing on my feet here and rolling back here. And so I can bring my hands to the sides here and gently maybe roll side to side. There we go. Or just forward and back completely. And the whole time I'm keeping my chin down, okay? I'm not bringing any overextension on my neck. All right, I keep a nice alignment here. And what it does, the contact on the ball on my lower back, it's kind of, uh, 
self-massage. It's really a nice stretch. So if you want to bring more um, control here, you can just bring your hands to the side here or stay there and relax completely. Make sure you open the shoulder, you don't end up with your back arm flex. You're kind of pushing against the bone here, really keeping the chin down, massaging your lower back. That feels so good. Here we go. Just double checking that you can see that, yes. And so here I can bring my feet closer if I need here for more control and really massaging my lower back. And let me tell you that feels so good. All right, perfect. Let's stay a little more here. Really playing around with that ball. Kind of, you know, enjoying that stretch. Being my phone, my position on the ball, the chin is down, my ribs are closed. All right. And then I'm going to let myself uh, back to the mat. So I'm rolling forward, keeping my chin down. My head is still in contact with the ball. My butt is about to contact the mat here. There we go. You can bring my feet closer. And here to lift my hand here, I'm just keeping my chin down and lift my leg. Here we go. All right, so continuing with our big ball, we can use a chair for that one too. We are going to do a hip stretch, okay? So what you wanna do is being seated, cross-legged or one foot in front of the other, like I am here. So your ball is right in front of you. Here we go. You're going to place your forearms here on the ball, okay? One in front of the other, just over there. And I'm going to bring my forehead to my hands. My chin is staying down and keeping my, my back long here. And so from there, I can use the momentum of the ball to bring me forward here and really bring some stretch into my hips. And then I can kind of roll side to side here and find what feels good, what feels, you know, like I'm really releasing the tension in my lower back. I'm really working on those uh, super tight hips. All right, so let's do that together. So forehead on your hands, here we go. So find something that's comfortable and then bring yourself forward and then a bit to the sides. And you can also feel that in your back, definitely. Good, and really bring yourself as much forward as you can. And maybe instead of feeling it in the hips, you will feel it on the back, and that's fine. Just your body giving you some clues of what's going on. Stay there and breathe. Really make sure you focus on breathing out as this is when your body is relaxing. So here I'm on tight spot. So I just stay there and breathe. So do the same. Let's do one more here. All right, and to come back up, you're gently going to roll yourself back. Here we go. All right. All right, so for the next exercise, you will need to set up next to a wall or a piece of furniture uh, against which you can push, okay? You also need your pregnancy pillow or um, nursing pillow. If you don't have one, you can always use a pillow, regular one, and a block or another pillow um, because you will need your pillow to uh, put it just underneath your head and another one between your knees. All right, so we are lying on the side here. So my pillow is up. I'm going to lay on it. I'm going to bring my uh, block between my knees here. So I'm laying on my pillow and I'm bringing one arm uh, just underneath and the other one up, okay? And I'm pushing against a piece of furniture here. I'm bringing my knees up here, 90 degrees angle at my hips. Here we go. 
And so from there, what we will do, we will do uh, three uh, breathe in and breathe out. When I'm breathing in, my ribs are um, going up, my belly is expanding forward. When I'm breathing out, I'm beginning by lifting gently the pelvic floor, engaging the deep chromosomes, and my ribs are closing together. And at the same time, I'm pushing against uh, the furniture here with my, my upper head. All right, let's do this. So breathing in, completely relaxed. Breathing out, beginning by the pelvic floor. Deep core engage, pushing against the piece of furniture. And really driving my tailbone here, down, keeping my nice and neutral alignment in my spine. My chin is down. And again, breathe in, relax everything. Breathe out, pelvic floor up first. Deep core engage, pushing. And breathe in again, relax everything. Breathe out, pelvic floor up, push. Good. All right, so we do exactly the same on the other side here. So I have to turn my back to the camera. I don't have other choice, but you got it. And you'll see how my back is reacting during the whole movement. So I'm turning on the other side. Here we go. Bring the block still between my knees here. I'm lying on my right side this time. So my right hand is going underneath the pillow. And my left hand is contacting the furniture or the wall. I'm bringing my knees 90 degrees. Find a comfortable position here. Tailbone down, chin down. Here we go. And let's go. I'm breathing in, completely relaxed. No action on my back here. And then when I'm breathing out, I'm beginning by lifting the pelvic floor. I'm pushing it the furniture. And you see how my, my whole side here is kind of stretching here. Breathing and relaxing everything. Breathe out, pedal for up. Breathe in. Breathe out, pedal for up. Pushing. And relax. And bringing myself up. Okay, so that was interesting that you uh, have been able to see that exercise from my back point of view because you really see how my back is kind of stretching here by pushing against the, <clears throat> against the wall or the piece of furniture here. You really bring that nice stretch and doing it on, on the side can really allow you to place more focus on one side and then the other so there is not one side taking over. You really want to keep your uh, knees and hips at 90 degrees at all time, especially when you push, there is a tendency to your knees to kind of drop down. So bring them up, okay? Stay engaged and engage those deep core muscles also. All right, let's move on. All right, so for the next exercise, we are going to use a chair. If you have been watching my videos already, this is an exercise that we have been doing together, but let me drive you through it. So you will be on your back working on your hip bridge, okay? So what you do, you are going to bring your feet on the seat of the chair here and lying on your back. Here we go, gently lying on your back. Here we go, perfect. And so here you want to just lift up the glutes a tiny bit. Make sure your hands are on the sacrum here and bring it down again. Make sure your sacrum is completely aligned and the tailbone is kind of looking up here. All right. Okay. And then you're going to bring in this exercise with your hand contacting your forehead. You can maybe slide down a tiny bit. Yes. Here we go. Perfect. So here, tailbone up. Here, you keep the chin down at home time. 
So when you are down here, you breathe in, completely relax, so belly up to the sky. And when you breathe out, pelvic floor first, deep core engage, your belly is kind of going down, your ribs are closing together, you lift the butt off the floor, and at the same time, you will extend the, the arms up, all right? So let's work on that. And we'll do five together. All right, so let's begin. Breathe in. And breathe out. Pelvic floor first. And again, breathe in. Bring it down. Breathe out. Up. Remember to bring the belly in all the way, a belly button all the way up to the ribs. Breathe in, relax everything. Breathe out, pelvic floor first. Hips up, arms up, belly button up to the ribs. Good, let's keep going. Perfect, let's do two more together. Remember, pelvic for first, arms up, belly button in, and up to the ribs. Last one together here, pelvic for first, and relax all right great very good job that's a very good exercise when you are uh, suffering from your lower back you're re-strengthening the glutes that are uh, most of the time not really active and that's why you feel your lower back so much all right let's move on to the next exercise all right so for the next exercise we are going to work uh, still on your glutes we are going to use a resistance band a mini band you can do that exercise without it if you don't have any i recommend that you uh, go on amazon and buy some uh, it's really cheap so here you are going to place your mini band here just above your ankles so just here and so from there here, we are going to work on walking side to side. So here you want to push the hips back a bit, keeping the core engaged while you're pushing to the side and really focusing on the glutes when you are doing the movement. So we do five steps to the side and five steps to the other here. And you want to breathe out every time you are pushing against the bend. All right, so let's do that. and I'm driving the movement, thinking about my glutes here, not thinking about my thighs too much. All right, and let's come back. One more here. And again, back and forth. Take it off. All right, so for that last exercise, it is a variation of what we just did, sidewalk. This time, you won't move side to side. We are going to stay in place and to work on side taps. You are going to use your resistance band again. And I would like you to use any kind of ball like that, kind of Pilates ball, or if you have a yoga block, it can uh, be useful as well. If you don't have any of those, you can always use a pillow. All right, so we are going to place the bend exactly in the same spot that we just did. So just above the ankles. Here. 
and then from there grabbing our bone here between our hands here we make sure that we are contacting it and when we are going to push against the bone when we are pushing we are pushing with the palm here not the fingers all right so here all my weight is on my left leg here we go and then i'm going to push to the side on the right feeling my left glute working as i'm pushing to the side i'm breathing out of course and i'm pushing against my bone all right let's do that five and five by doing that i'm triggering even more action on the obliques on the external obliques Let's do one more here. And you can see that I'm not looking up in that video. I'm keeping my chin down. And I switch my uh, the weights on my right foot. And let's do that again. Switching my weight to my left. One more here. Switching my weight to my right. Two more here. Last one. All right. All right. You did it. Congratulations. You made it until the very end of this video. I hope your lower back is already starting feeling better. But remember, those exercises are efficient only if you stick with it and if you stay consistent. So you can keep repeating that routine two or three times a week to start feeling a difference. I hope you enjoyed that video. Give us a like to let us know and share it with somebody that will benefit from it. You can always go on bonjourbaby.net, grab your free postpartum guide and start your postpartum recovery now. We share more goodness, tips and advices on our weekly newsletter. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.